Hello, Hello there. there. And welcome back to the Epic Frodo YouTube channel. My name is Will, and today I'm joined by Jack. Hello, sir. So, Jack, today we are watching a film that you haven't seen, a horror film you haven't seen. No. I know a lot about this film, actually. Like, everyone knows the premise. You watch the film, yeah. you die, essentially. Isn't that... <laughs> that's, that's it? Well, I say I know a lot about yeah, it. I know the story. I've seen... Again, I've seen the American version, okay. um, which is really annoying. Again, I've seen... That and the grudge, the Americanizing part. I've never seen the classic Asian ones that are supposed to be absolutely horrendous, even more creepy and terrifying. And I think they just do it better. I think, well, we're about to find out if they do it better. So, uh, I'm kind of keeping my cool a little bit, but I'm actually really scared to watch this film. I've, um, obviously, because I know about the video that you watch all my life, I've always avoided watching that. Because I honestly believed that if you watched it, something bad will happen to you. It just creeps me out so much. The premise is very disturbing. Oh no. Oh dear. Oh no. Oh, today. Today's one week then. <laughs> oh no, why? Such good tension, that build up with the little like close ups with like the, the lamp, like. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. So wait, did she actually watch the video or did she not? Do you reckon it's a fake out? He's like, hi, I got your order downstairs. It's, it's not a fake out. Oh. Oh, God. So if you don't answer it, it's just It's not a thing, just simple static shots, you know, just staring at an inanimate object. <laughs> oh, it was a fake out. <laughs> It's just subtle. It's the commitment to the jump scare that's coming. You've got the you've got this set up. We're in the middle of it now. The full scare. <laughs> oh, look at that shot. You get nervous, Jack. <laughs> that is really well done. That is beautiful cinematography. Something so ominous about the glow, you know, like the face with the stark sh shots like that. Oh god. <laughs> oh no. Donna video ka kita kota aru? Watashi ga kita no wa nanka ikinari kohai onna no hito ga tsutte. God, that's so creepy. I just hate stories it is, like that. It's like one of those things that would spread around school, you know, like on those things. Young couple from dead in the car. It was the day after um, that girl, September yeah. 5th and September 6th. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 It's so quiet, this film. Yes. Mm. It's 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 building, isn't it? You can feel like... I said, there's been so many shots where they're almost like whispering. And it's, like... it's a closed coffin. I wonder what, what, what that... Is it a closed coffin? Yeah. What did that thing do to her? Look how sinister that shot is. Oh, God. Sweeping shots. Not great. Oh, the kid's not going to watch the tape, is he? Oh, 
Every time I see a TV or the phone rings in this film, it's getting me. <laughs> They're doing a good job hyping up this video. I've never seen what the video is. Oh. Oh, the way she died. Look at that rewind, see that? Whoa. Again, children's laughter, never fun. Yeah, it's... Yeah, I would be investigating into that more. That was definitely kids. Oh, saw a little hint there. Oh, that scared me. Oh my God. <laughs> That's how simple that is, it's just... <laughs> oh! That's, that was brilliant. Oh my god, you see her mouth? Mm. So that's how they die, they just die of like shock almost. This must be like straight after. I'm off. <laughs> Jeez, all right. I'm off. <laughs> September 13th. Oh no, she's going to go to the island, she's going to go to the cabin that they're in front of, and there's going to be the tape in the video. Look how sinister that is. That looks really nice. Oh, it's going to be stupid as she's doing that. Oh. oh. Just because how they position the TV, how they set this scene, or the I set know. design, just makes a TV so scary. It's so simplistic, isn't it? Mm. If you notice that every time the TV's there, it's, it's centre of the shot. Oh god, I remember when TVs used to do that, when you used to have to you press oh. it and it would take a couple of seconds and to turn go, on. Mm. Not blue light, yeah. See, so I'm not that we're not that old. No, nah. young. We're not that young. <laughs> oh no. They keep feel they they linger on shots for just long enough for it to feel uncomfortable. Beautiful. Mm. That's me on the left. <laughs> There's something missing. Destroy it. Cast it into the fire. God, it's just always just spiraling in these like mm. films like this where it's like no because their curiosity is just it's built up so much her tension and her curiosity about knowing what is on that tape she just has to watch it so this is it this is my first time I've heard so much about this tape never seen it this is me going to watch the tape now I'm ready oh god oh Is terrifying. Oh, it scared me. Oh. That is worse than the American one. I'm telling you right now. Oh. <gasps> oh. No. I forgot about the phone. Why would she watch it? If, well, I guess you wouldn't believe it, would you? You just wouldn't believe it. Seven... Seven past 
Tuesday, September 14th. So September 13th was her ordeal. God, that take was so well done. That shot at the end on that forest in the well. That yeah. was not fun. Oh, face distortion time coming up. Mm. Focuses on eyes a lot this film, doesn't it? You know, it's yeah. that. Ooh. God, they use music in this so well. The sound editing in this is so good. Those violins. Oh, no, don't put it on. She made him watch that. He put it on That's himself. No, don't copy it. <laughs> so I wonder why Ooh, he didn't get a phone did call. Ring? Yeah. Did he watch it? Maybe it did ring and he didn't tell her. Yeah, what happened if you kept watching it over and over again? You get super killed. They're going frame by frame. That's horrible. I hate having to rewatch the video over and over again. Can you hear that noise? Mm. That's yeah. so well done. It's like a. Uh, it's horrendous. <laughs> Give me shivers. I haven't felt this way in a long time watching a film like this. Oh, I don't like that. That's what you mean by lots of shots of eyes. Eyes, oh, yeah, really. If it's like I'll check tomorrow, but like I don't have till tomorrow, mate. <laughs> I've got to die in seven days. Oh, that's the eruption. Uh -oh. Erupt. Uh oh. Oh. He's a brave man watching out on himself. Oh, stop. God, these shots, man. Stop with the creeping this relatives. This is what I said with the cinematography. It's just so good in this. What? Oh, no. I can't watch. <laughs> you gotta watch. Don't open that wardrobe. Something started to come out of that. Well. This is horrendous. Ooh. Two days left, is it? I think it's the twentieth. いとこにあたる爺さんがまだ生きてましてね。息子夫婦が旅館をやってます。お泊りは一応そちらに手配しておきましたが。静子は何で自殺したの?気が触れたって話らしい。不思議な力があったらしい。千里眼ってやつだ
She's running out of time. Must just feel so helpless. God, you must be so, uh, knowing you're going to die and not be able to do anything about it. The shots in this, the way people stand, are horrendous. You know, just there a lot. <laughs> One day left. Well, there's a lot of themes about the sea and water, and there's a well in the video. It's getting very superhero y almost. <laughs> Supernatural. A little flashback. The, the scene through the past, through like her abilities, it's like. I didn't realize they go down this road of it being like superpowers. Jeez. Sadako! There's so many like different characters now. Oh, that's Sadako. It was like the mum was almost like, like good and like she could like read minds and things, but the little girl was evil, had the evil powers. Spirits. So that Sadako just willed this videotape into existence. Yeah. There we go. Last day. She's got some seven, what is it? Seven or seven, seven, something like that. If the story is true, I think it's pretty true at this point. Pushing through to the final act here. Mm. The music's building up. It's definitely act three. Oh yeah, we, we're, we're solidly into act three, and I can confirm that. <laughs> oh, they're not going down the well in the video. Maybe. This film is, like, genuinely scary, even though there's only been two yeah. or three scare bits if that makes sense yeah just and that's just atmospheric with like false jump scares you know it's set up it hasn't been proper jump scares yet oh this house wasn't no built shots. on the well was it yep yep <laughs> That action shot. So the doctor threw her down the well. Yeah. Oh, she's, so she's been in there the whole time. Yeah. That's creepy. Imagine standing in that house and not knowing that there's a dead body trapped in this well. How much for you to go in there? Tenor. A tenor. <laughs> God, I don't know how you go down there. Because you know, oh, there's... look at these shots. I'm sorry, the cinematography is unreal. You know, there's a body down there. Oh, there's a <gasps> fingernails. She didn't die. Were they fingernails of her trying to climb out of the well? Yeah. Yeah. Oh God, that is it's just dead body water. Yeah. We having to drain this. That's going to take ages. There's gonna be like bits of like 
her fingers. Mm. Oh no. How long she got? They better hurry. She's got one hour. Oh, so come on. Get that arm pump. Oh, she's had enough. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. That's horrible. Oh god. Oh, what is that? Is that the hair? Yeah. Oh. oh no, here she comes. Oh god. Oh. She's weeping. Oh, it's 710. I really think they're lulling us. This can't be the end. Yeah, it's not going to be the end. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if it's going to come for him now. Yeah, because maybe she's all right, because she broke it. Oh, it still does it, the day thing. I'm still doing it. Oh, no. Oh, God. Why is it coming for him? It's just that noise, that metal scraping noise. Here she comes, Jack. <laughs> oh, God. God, I do not like that. Oh, God. <laughs> he didn't get his phone call, did he? Is that what this is? Oh, God. That looks so cool. There's her nails gone. Oh. oh. Oh god, this is so much creepier than the American one. God, that eye. So he's dead. Yes, the TV. Oh. Oh. Gold.お父さん。うん。今から。お願いがあるの。よういちのためなの。1週間以内に。それじゃ切りないじゃん。そうそう、切りないのよ。Wednesday, September 22nd. So does that mean we have to copy this film and show it to someone else? Oh god. So, Jack, that was Ring, or Ringu, that was known in Japan. Um, you seemed quite impressed by that. Oh yeah, um, 
that's so much better than the American version. <laughs> it's just the same story as everything else that the Americans touch or we touch in remake regards. It's just what was brilliant about that was, again, I think one or two little jump scares, but it was just so well done from how atmospheric the tension build up through everything, the sound, the camera work, the shots, Mm. That even their acting was brilliant, but the, the best thing about that, I'm still in awe of the camera work and how it works, especially again, that end shot with um, it coming out of the 1998, that looked really good. Um, but yeah, I, I thought I thought the build up, that, that's what they did the best, the atmosphere in that film was so well done. Mm. I thought that was definitely the best, but the atmosphere, the shots, the lingering, the darkness, the, the sound adding to all of it, it was just very very unsettling like this you said there wasn't much typical scares as you have today but i was generally more scared of watching that than watching what did we watch last time grave encounters or anything yeah. like that and yeah i loved that that was really good i would say it kind of when they were in the well and it kind of ended i thought oh like that can't be the end surely and like that about 10 minutes before that when they're going through the whole backstory i thought oh okay that's quite interesting but my heightened senses that have been built up kind of decreased a bit if that makes sense and then yeah. but then that ending it, it really paid it off and it made it so much better than i thought it was going to be and that videotape you said the videotape was way worse than the american one yeah the american one is sort of from what i remember it's a similar thing but like brushing the hair and then it's a woman like looking at the camera she's like oh and then it's like the well thing and then it's like someone else like like doing like really weird little like it's it's just too over the top that was yeah, just really subtle and so strange and really minimal that's what the best thing about this film was it was very minimal yeah. like they didn't they didn't put things over the top they didn't like drag things out too long it was just the right amount of uncomfortableness and just simple shots framed so well again the tv you know, being the center point always sent a shot like it was just such a powerful presence so i guarantee now People that watch that, or like you watch, you'll go walk by a TV now, and you'll be looking at it like, oh no. That's why I never wanted to watch it. Um, I, I won't say it wasn't like, I didn't mean when I was like 21, I was like, I don't want to watch this video clip, otherwise I'm going to die. I meant when I was like 13, and you're on YouTube, and you see like, Ringu, uh, TV tape, and you're just like, no, I'm not watching it. Because I've never even seen this film. And it's the one film that I've always it's had, it's had the biggest like, mystique around it for me. Of yes. just how like terrifying it sounds and that has worked it is it has it's lived up to my expectations and that goes to show how good of a film it is is if all all of as long as i can remember i'd probably say from about eight years old i've always known about there's this film where if you watch a tape you die not much happens in that film for a lot of it mm. but you're still so gripped just from everything working to that it, it proves it's a good film when because the sound everything worked together to keep you hooked all the scary stuff was just like a videotape which is easy to make people just doing like distorting their face yeah just doing that yeah and then a close-up shot of an eye yeah that's all that's all they did it wasn't like um so simple cgi to make their eyes go black and stuff it was yeah it was very very well made and very well done. i can see why it's so so popular so jack who's your mvp for ring um john ichiro hayashi uh the cinematography for it was just it was just probably the best bit to be honest it was just from the opening shots as well you know when you can just tell you've got a good someone good behind the camera obviously they work well with the director as well but it was just the shots how they lingered and just how simple and set up the frame shots were it was just so simple throughout it but done in the right way he knew what he wanted to go with it he wanted to make it as uncomfortable as possible and again it probably is close with the sound editor for that so my mvp jack is going to the sound engineers so that is a uh, alessio massi naiko mitani yoshia yobara kenji shibasaki there was that noise that it was like well when they were like oh, yeah. the tape and then you could hear like when they were rewinding the tape it was like metal being like scratched and when the tape was playing it was like it's, fingernails it's, on the thing yeah that's what it is it wasn't metal yeah. it was her nails on yes. the wall yeah it was her nails trying to climb up the of the, 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 the wall of the well yeah i mean and just the well yeah very very unsettling and you take away things like sound and like it just doesn't work like people underestimate sound so much like when i see other people talk about films they barely mention the sound from editing our videos as well i know as soon as i like this review i'll watch it with no music it won't make sense and i'll put some music underneath it'll sound a lot better 
So sound is very underrated, and these guys just smashed it. Yeah, they had a perfect, as I said, my one and your one linked so well together. Yeah. It was a perfect partnership. You know you got a film that's good and successful when they both link together well, and they make the film, to be honest. So what are you going to give Ring Ringu as a score? It's going to be high, to be honest. I really like that. Um, I'm going to give The Ring an 80... Five. An eighty-five. That's very good. Yeah. Very good. Um, I'm going to give the ring a an eighty. It's an eighty for the ring from. That's me. solid. That's mm. solid for you as well. You I, were I was teased. I was tempted to give it in the seventies, but when you said it had barely any traditional horror scares, and yet I was incredibly unsettled watching it, it did make me feel something. And it, for a film to qualify as an eighty, it has to make me feel something. Yeah, so. I know that your score will go up, like you know, like in your thing, because you're going to go out your side of your room now by yourself and the light will be off but no no but you know what I mean and I know that's yeah. why I've given it such a high score because I go by raw emotions like now but I also know that I'm going to go outside there and it's pitch black outside my door and I'm going to go downstairs and there's the TV's going to be on because I'm pretty sure I left it on and I know I'm going to struggle with that so I know a film has provoked positive well not positive emotions but it's made me feel and mm. yeah well, there you have it, everybody. An 85 from Jack and an 80 from me for Ringu. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more, be sure to press that subscribe button. And while you're at it, why not follow us on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Me and Jack will be back with another video very soon. Cheerio.